serious crisis in home health care. That's what the president of the National Association of Home Care and Hospice is warning of this morning. Home health workers take care of some of our most vulnerable loved ones in this country. But like many aspects of our lives, the pandemic has taken quite a toll on this industry, leaving a major shortage in home health care aides. NBC's Vicki Wynn is following the shortage and also looking at what needs to be done to fix it. So, Vic, walk us, walk us through what's going on with this crisis. Hey, Craig, good to see you. Yeah, they're calling it the silver tsunami. Every day in this country, 10,000 people turn 65. And as they get older, some will need help in their homes, but the workforce to support them is shrinking. Think about it. These are long hours. This is emotional work. It can be physically taxing as well. And often in-home caregivers are paid even less than fast food workers. This morning, we're going to give you a look at this industry and a look at some of the solutions to the shortage. <laughs> that feel a little better. Lolly Edinger is part of an unseen workforce of home caregivers, providing help to 12 to 14 million Americans every day. Today, she drove more than 30 minutes to Cottakill, New York, to care for one of her clients, Dinah Kylie. Lolly does laundry, helps with bills. That's the one you're gonna sign. And even takes Dinah to the doctor. Dinah, who has Parkinson's disease and dementia, recently fell, hurting her hand and face. Dinah needs me here. We worry about her falling. We worry about her accidentally taking the wrong medications. Lolly works more than 50 hours a week caring for her clients, but Dinah needs 24-7 care. Her family fills in the gaps where they can, but finding additional in-home care is almost impossible. We are in a serious crisis. We're short by at least a million workers today. Bill Dombey is the president of the National Association for Home Care and Hospice. Why is it so hard to find people to fill these positions? It's multidimensional. Uh, one is because the job is extremely difficult. Caring for individuals with disabilities or those of older age or with physical uh, limitations that require lifting and transferring of the patient. Part of it is compensation too. This is a, a very hard job with very, very low pay. Lolly makes twelve fifty an hour, but some caregivers are paid even less, just $8 an hour. In large part, Medicare and Medicaid fund in-home care. Average pay for providers nationwide, $13 an hour. 60% work more than 40 hours a week, and 37% consider the job highly stressful. Dombey says one solution, attract and retain more workers by increasing payment rates through Medicaid and offer tax credits for people paying for private services. These workers are really special, and what they do actually affects our society at large. If someone has to take off of work to care for their parent, that cripples the whole economy. Despite the low wages, Lolly says she's able to keep working because her husband has a full-time job and because she cares. Fast food places are making 15 now, which they deserve, but that's not the job I want to do. It's not going to get any better until we actually pay what people are worth. It's a human being's life. It's not a hamburger. <laughs> Her point is well taken. According to the according to the Paraprofessional Healthcare Institute, 86% of in-home caregivers are women, Greg. 65% are people of color. Some help may be on the way. The Build Back Better plan just went through the house. In it, $150 billion, some of that money earmarked for home services, and some of that would go to state Medicaid programs, which could help bump the salaries for these workers, which would attract more workers and retain sure. them, which is exactly what's needed. Craig? Well, uh, home health care workers, uh, having uh, known a few of them, been related to a few of them, uh, they are doing God's work. And I'm so happy that you're shining a light on this crisis because it affects so many people. Vicki, thank you. Enjoy your weekend, my friend. Thank you. Thank you.